Okay, so here we are. This is going to be another in the series. The Ozune Way. I'm going to focus on a song, or I should say a folk song, folk tune, as we call it in Jamaica. Fan me soldier man, fan me. In my case, it would be soldier girl. You see it. <laughs> fan me soldier girl, fan me. It's comprised of three chords. I'm going to be playing it in the key of G. I'll do it in the key of C for those of you who are just learning. And then I'll transpose it in the key of transpose it to the key of G. Um, it's going to be an introductory course of sorts because what I'm going to attempt to do is to show you what it can be expanded from, where it is presently, how it was written. I'll be going through the melody. I'll be going through the chords, which comprises of the three primary triads. Those are um, G, which is one, C, which is four, and D, which is five, in the key of G. In the key of C major, however, that would be C, F, and G. These are the three primary triads, and the three primary triads are basically triads that are used um, to play all sorts of basic songs, um, hymns, you know, folk songs, anything like that. Um, and I'll be playing through, you know, just to give you an example of some of these, okay? All right, so in the key of C, I'm hoping that you can see, you know, what I'm doing here. I'm going to try and keep it very simple. Okay, so that's the key of C major. This is the first of the three primary triads. You have secondary triads. Primary triads are always built on the first degree of the scale, the fourth degree of the scale, and the fifth degree of the scale. So that would be in the key of C major, C, F major, and G major respectively. And if you're not sure what these are, you can refer to my previous video or videos, which um, I will have in the description link. Okay, and then back to C major. So the three primary triads, one, four, and five. Secondary triads are built on the second degree of C major scale, or any major scale for that matter, in any key, once it is a major scale. So that's built on the second degree, the third degree, the sixth degree, and finally the seventh degree of the scale. So you would have noticed that 1, 4, and 5 triads are major triads. Those are the primary triads, C, E, and G, F, A, and C, G, B, and D. And then the secondary triads are minor triads with the exception of the final triad, which is a diminished triad. So on the second degree, we have D minor triad, D, F, and a, E minor triad built on the third degree, which is E, G, and B. A minor triad, which is built on the sixth degree of the scale, that's A, C, and E. And finally, on the seventh degree of the scale, we have B diminished triad, which is B, D, and F. Those are all minor thirds apart, okay? Alright, so we've gotten that out of the way. And of course, if you go to another key, that's a major scale key, the principle is applicable, it's still the same. Alright, so I'm going to play the melody, I'm going to go through the melody. It's a very simple Jamaican folk song, um, that's in the public domain. Um, so far, nobody knows who exactly wrote it. So I'm going to play it an octave higher than middle C. Very slow, then I'll call out the names. So 
a very simple melody. Okay, C C C D E G G. Okay, C C C D E down to G. A A A B C G G. And then back up to C. C, 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 D, E, F, F, E, and then D, D, C, B, D, D, C, B, D, C. Fan me, soldier man, fan me. Fan me, soldier man, fan me. Fan me, soldier man, fan me. Oh, gal, your character gone. That's, those are the lyrics, if memory serves me correct. Okay, and it's just one, four, five. So I'm going to play it as simple as um, I can, based on what I can remember. Just playing it straight one four five okay easiest ways to play um, any folk song or any basic song is to harmonize the melody okay usually when we harmonize a melody we always use either the third of the melody the third interval in relation to the melody or the sixth interval in relation to the melody and one of the reasons for that of course is because three and six they are interchangeable meaning that they can be inverted okay so here is a melody and here is a third if i go down to middle c i want you to see how that actually sounds okay so that's one option so i'm harmonizing in thirds that's the third on top of c because I originally played the melody here, yes? So that's what actually would happen if we did the third above. However, if we harmonize the sixth below, look what happens. This is the sixth below here, below C. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Yeah? And so what you'll actually find happening is that this E in relation to C is a sixth and this E above the octave note of C, which is this C here, is the major third. But in this instance, this would be the minor sixth, okay? But we're not really concerned about the theoretical aspect. I just want you to realize that a third here becomes a sixth here. Don't worry about the theory yet. I mean, more on that. In another video so you could harmonize it thus do you, do you hear that and then it's gonna go down to the G which you could use back the same E note so watch this do you see that That's how harmony works. Back to the third, this is a melody. So you'd harmonize it this way. Okay. You could also harmonize it, you know, using a fourth, like this. Okay, and some people actually do harmonize it like that. And it has a very nice, interesting sound, almost oriental in some cases, yeah? 
could do that as well. And especially if you have three voices, then that becomes even you know, more of an option. So if we had three voices, we could do. Okay, so I won't get too complex yet. But once you understand these basic principles and you apply them, you begin to see that harmonizing any note that you're playing is not such a big deal. Okay, so. This is three note harmony. Two note harmony. you can approach it but since we're not actually doing a harmony class I just want to go through the chords and the melody and then expand on it so I'm gonna now change to the key of G rather I mean the key of C G, I did a 5 to 1, and I've covered that in another video, a previous video. Um, the fifth of any key takes us to the home key. So in the case of Fan Me Soldier Man in the key of C, notice that G, this is F, and then G took us back to C. And if you want to give it even that more feeling of finality, you play G7. Yeah. And if you want to sound more, you know, um, <laughs> for want of a better word, more proficient, then you would play what we call a 2 5. Okay. So I'm in the key of C. I want to transition right modulate to the key of g so i'm at the end of fan me soldier man so that was what we call a two five a minus seventh to d seventh to g okay so
also I didn't have to go back to C. I could have gone straight to after C after G. That's straight to A minor seventh, D seventh, and then in G. And the reason for that why it would have worked is because C major, you know, um, has its relative minor counterpart, which is A minor. And A minor seventh basically shares the same notes with the, ex um, blah, 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 with the exception of A, right? So this is C. C, E, G, A minor seventh is A, C, E, and G. Okay, so that's why that would work. Okay, it works very well. And if I want it to be even that much more adventurous, let's go back to C again. from C to F, put it put in, in the C dominant seventh or C seventh, because this is the fifth of F, okay? The five of F, which becomes a temporary one, for want of a better word. Okay, back to C, and I went two five, which is D minus seventh, D minus seventh to G seventh, and then E seventh, which will take me to the A minus seventh. And I can show you another way that we could have done it. C, watch this, I'm going to do a two five. Okay, two five one to go to F. So this is C, G minus seventh, C seventh. F and then watch this E minor seventh A seventh and then D minor seventh G seventh watch this two five again which would be B minor seventh E seventh okay and D seventh okay I'm doing it slow so it's not making a lot of sense so let me see if I can play it so you can get the whole vibe now right Thank you. 
Okay. So let's see if I can break down what I did. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really playing in the moment. I'm just trying to hold back just so you can see what's happening. My attempt here is really just to show you that we can do a lot more than we do when we play three basic chords, okay? So there is what we call a walk-up, okay? A walk-up is simply if we're in the key of G, then this would be G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. This is called a tenth. And with a tenth, you simply step according to the scale. It would be G and B, A, C, B, D, C, E, D, F sharp, E, G, the octave note, F sharp, which is the seventh, major seventh, and then A, the major ninth, and then G, the octave note, the eighth note, and then B, the tenth, major tenth. Okay? All right, so in thirds, the scale in thirds, and I'm not playing fingering, I just want you to hear the sound and hopefully see somewhat what I'm doing. So I'm saying it very slowly that even if you're not seeing clearly, you can hear the sound and you can pretty much find it, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna drop this G down an octave lower what you'll get. Wrong fingering, but that's not important. I just want you to hear the sound. Now I'm going to play the correct fingering. So if I use my left hand, my left hand will do the same thing. That's the span of a tenth. The song. <laughs> All right, so watch this. Melody, Family Soldier Girl. So this is part of the melody, this um, D that I'm playing, which is part of my um, tenth movement. Okay, so I did this, right? So because it's my left hand, I would probably need to fill everything so the harmony in the left hand sounds fuller in terms of the accompaniment so
and be soldier man. Peace, love, and many blessings. Hope that you learned something from this. <laughs>